So we are in the Loire Valley with this ancestral from La Terre Blanche. Um, so we're in the Loire, so it shouldn't come as that much of a surprise that we're talking about Shannon. Um, so this is a pet gnat um, and it is disgorged, so you shouldn't see sediment flying around in it um, and it shouldn't explode on you, which is good. <laughs> um, so this one is made, like I said, with Shannon, 13% alcohol, uh, zero, zero. So no added sulfides or anything like that. The bubbles are nice. I've had this poured in here for a while, um, but when I was initially pouring it, they're very small and they have the lovely fine lines that you want when they go up. I personally put this one in a flute. You can put it in a regular glass, but I think that um, for this type of wine, I also just like flutes, <laughs> I put it in here. So um, I poured just a little bit to be, make it easier to get on the nose because if you do do flutes and you pour them to the top, it's pretty hard to smell. Um, so on the nose. <sighs> It's a little bit like nice and perfumey, almost like, well, I guess like that mint that I would say it's like white florals, like crisp apple-y, maybe a little bit bready. I don't know how much lees contact it had, but like champagne, it normally has a lot of lees. Um, so this kind of like, but it's not so much creamy. It's like a little bit bready, but I wouldn't say maybe like a little bit biscuity. Let's try it. Mm. Lovely froth, um, not too overpowering, but very, very clear. Ooh, so crisp on the end. Very clear that um, it's uh, lovely and sparkling. Um, so the finish is delightful. So it kind of starts out and it's got this like frothiness. Um, and then after that, some of the florals are there, but then it moves into, like I was saying earlier, it's like, um, super crisp apple like just biting into it it's like almost sour like it doesn't taste sour but even like it's the acid is just really high so um I think that's why it makes me think of like a sour apple but it doesn't make you pucker um so it's nice it does still have this creaminess though like it's got this lovely round mouthfeel um and the bubbles overall like I said like it's got this beautiful frothiness but it's gentle like it's not it's not like aggressive in there um so overall I just say it's a exactly what I'm looking for in a sparkling wine, very champenois style. Um, and at Shannon, I love Shannon. Generally, you'll see a lot of Shannon in this club. And I love this as a, um, as a sparkling version of it. So cheers.